horrible night. I need coffee so bad. I need two cups of coffee. Hopefully there's refill. I woke up at two. Laid awake for an hour. Boy. turkeys, vultures, turkeys. I see you. Oh, my salvation is here. Oh, this is where I need to be. So bad. I'm so hungry too. My brilliant locking mechanism has come loose, which is kept together with a zip tie and this uh, click thing. What do you call these? Buckle? Since uh, the internal GV locking mechanism uh, got lost in a big crash somewhere out there in the desert of Northern Australia. And this is all that keeps it together. So I'm gonna chuck this uh, strap in there instead. That should do the trick. This bounces around so much. You're like a pack of dingoes. But doggos, you're a pack of doggos. I use a bad doggo eating me garbage. Bad doggo. Ciao, burrito. Bad coffee. I needed that coffee more than I needed water. Still feeling a bit rough. Let's go. at the distance but it's a little cemetery this is a pet cemetery look at this it's like little Netherlands but more colorful I'm telling you this is little Netherlands see this is Hans the Dutch man here's Onur his Turkish neighbor and here is Barbie and she's a famous person for some reason. Marcelo here, as you can see, you saw during the chase. It was very worth chasing, turns out. He is a shop owner and mechanic. And um, it's Sunday, so very special that this is open. 
But like I said to him, once you see a big motorcycle in an unknown city, in an unknown country, you chase it. Turns out Marcel also has a little pad above the shop here. This place is absolutely pure motorcycles. Well, it is a motorcycle shop, of course. Look who's there, chilling inside. Out. Tomorrow we're gonna get busy. And first, we're gonna get you clean. Because you're dirty. I, by the way, took a uh, well-needed shower after not showering for, I don't know, like five days or so, sleeping in a tent. I'm also doing laundry. Just soap it up, clean it up. So it's uh, just, you know, it's no washing machine, but it's better than it was before. Because, holy shit, some bits smell like death. <laughs> this actually just turned brown without even. This is the first run. <laughs> So we're taking the power out here so we can get to the clutch. And I gotta take the bad plate off, grab the bar, exhaust, Let's have a look inside there, and uh, look at the state of the clutch, see what we need. And uh, go from there. Taking the crankcase off. It's normal working days again here in Chile. And we're going to check if we're going to get the plates here or it has to come from somewhere else. Right. Clutch bits. Clutch is back in. Putting the retainer plate back on. Oh shit, I really messed up. I put the clutch case back on, had it bolted down. Uh, silicon on there. There's no tension in that piece that sticks into the case where you connect the clutch cable to. There's no tension. It's like shit, open it up. And of course it's missing that little piece, that little T-piece that sticks in there. Nowhere to be found. So I grabbed the trash and I've been digging for all the trash because you know, I've been cleaning up on the street. I'm digging for this piece by piece. Checking everything, Christ, that's, you wait two weeks at least for that. You're not gonna find that anywhere out here. You keep an eye on that thing normally, but she just fell out. Sweet Jesus, sweet. <laughs> I am so lucky, thank the Lord. I'm not a religious person. Look at it. It was stuck in there, doing all that crap. I am so lucky. So lucky. Okay, I'm basically ready uh, to go today. I did the clutch. Clean the chain. Put in a new bar, put a crash bar, a little support bar which had snapped. And uh, but now I would still like to get a tire. I'm trying to get a second hand one, but it's tough to find a 17 inch 17 inch wheel. One here brought some tires from uh, this motorcycle race. It's Ben Juan. It's Ben Colombian and Leiven and I. Uh, oh, we're speaking Dutch now because Juan comes with Dutch out of the blue. Uh, how long have you in Nederland geleefd? Oh, 10 years. In? 10 years geleefd. Yeah. Uh, Amsterdam. Are you a Hollandese? Do you have a esposa? Yeah. Uh, Sabrina Cheso. Very good. Great. Yeah, great. Lekker, le le lekker <laughs> dim. <laughs> Hola, buenas. Hola. Pedro. Hola. ¿Cómo está? Bien, gracias. Gracias. Para cambiar esta llanta, pero... Juan, gracias, hermano. Gracias, hermano. Ok, hermano. Top Sint. El look en el desierto. Sí, sí, sí. <laughs> eh, cualquier cosa, eh, donde Leider, sí. me ubica lo que necesite. 
tengo la camioneta, le quedo un amigo. Espectacular. Un amigo en el camino. Mucho gusto, güey. Okay. Un placer. Ok, okay. Sí. <risa> chao. Chao, chao. Qué extraño, ¿no? No, yo nunca escuché. I was saying that uh, the animals in Holland, animals eat the corn, and people don't really eat the corn, and that the corn is specific for animals, and he found that really funny. Son, uh, son extraños uh, los holandeses, ¿no? <laughs> Look at that. That has a little bit of bite, doesn't it? I'm gonna take this to the Colombian guy, part of the trade, and we're good to hit some sand roads. Thanks to the Bolivian man over here. Hasta luego. A la próxima. Señor, hola, hola, buenas, Pedro, Cristian, hard work. We're gonna end up in Antofagasta with a busted clutch, and I install new clutch fibers. I'm good to go. I'm like, let's get to Bolivia, and I was just ready to go. And then in walks a Canadian gringo into the shop. This uh, this fellow over here. Mr. Uh, Victor, and we just start talking about uh, the motorbike, and he's looking at my bike. I just start going on about paint job. Don't look at that. That was, I found out that is a lot harder. That's an art in itself, and it's completely separate from the mechanics of a motorbike. And, uh, and he goes, yeah, I do that. I, I can spray we can, paint. We can help him out. We can, I can spray paint your bike if you do all the sanding. Looking forward to the next couple of days. Yep. Time to get to work. Yeah. Take the bike apart. Put your camera down and get yeah. to work. <laughs> oh, you, 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 don't know, you don't know nothing yet, man. First of all, most important, I need to get milk for my coffee. <laughs> I won't have a motorcycle. My wings will be clipped and I'll be a peasant again. On feet to get around. I kind of stole his camera here for a quick second just because we've decided that we could do this all day. It's called now a spectator sport. Where? Where? Work, son. Well, just don't lose any nuts and bolts. See, yeah, uh, well, if I... he does, if he does, I've been so nice to give him some Ziploc bags and a pen for marking it all, but he which, which I'm very good look. using. I'll get there. He's I'll get there. Trust me. It. But you know what? What happens? You usually magically at the end of a project, you end up with more nuts and bolts, which is like super convenient. You can keep them as spares. Back into the old. Bearing cleaning business. Jeez. Remember that? I know that some of you do. Before I came to Chile, I had like 800 subs or so. Just look back, go to the playlist, find Make Alp Great Again, the MAGA Projects. 100 episode of me converting Alp into a off-road oriented bike. And uh, that project went uh, well uh, on into uh, 2017. Then I had to get out of the country, I have to get out of New Zealand on time because the visa was ending. And the uh, problem back then also, we're starting to run really low on funds, especially during the painting part when we started painting uh, the tank and the fairings. I didn't do a good job at it. So ever since in the back of my head, I always had it there. That is one of the things that still needs to improve on the bike, but I had other financial priorities. Grinder plus wire wheel absolutely rules. I did it in half an hour. The race to get a photo of that. myself a Canadian living the Aussie life out here in Chile. The Prado, souped up Prado. Say something Canadian. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out of dodge.
much. Let's get out of here, bro. Shit, I'm all over the place. <laughs> you feel like coming to do a rescue? I'm out four by four and I just got off the road a little bit and I'm at a point where it's about rolling over, so I'm like, ah, I better call a friend. Um, well, I can see your apartment from here. But well, I thought I grabbed the grande vassals, but they're they're like margaritas. They do my idea. They do. You want a peaceful? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because of my uh, little family situation, I'm uh, sitting here with uh, Vic at Aduana to make him Alps foster parent. <coughs> That's it. How's it feel being, uh, being a parent of a beautiful baby? I just thought it'd be a, a motorcycle. Uh, we just made Victor uh, the foster parent for the motorcycle uh, in uh, the unfortunate uh, situation that we have now with family and I have to go to Holland and uh, that it means I can go out of the country without an, without an issue and just to be safe because you don't want to be held up on the day of the flight and uh, then you can't board you miss the flight because they go hey wait a second you came into Chile with a motorbike what's going on here so this is great this sorted went pretty fast all things considered right so since I'm flying tomorrow uh, this is it then Goodbye to Alp for a month. And Rui, high five, bud. Bye, Alp. I'll see you soon. Have a good kiss. Let's go. Go over to Lou's place, do some washing, get ready, because like I say, believe it or not, these are my good clothes. And they're filthy, and uh, I'm going to the organized world now where. Uh, I have to look the part back in Europe. Here I am at Vic's house and uh, wearing his clothes, all uh, the other clothes in the washing. You know, this backpack would have come in real handy if I hadn't cut off all the straps. So here we went from Antofagasta to Rome. That's where we are now, waiting for the third flight of uh, this almost 25 hour trip to Amsterdam. I haven't really properly explained before I left because it just became something that got so occupied with, but um, my uncle is in bad shape, he's in a hospital, and um, a lot of family members uh, from all over uh, Europe and uh, other parts of the world came over. Don't know what to say exactly about that, but to be there, and uh, I'm gonna stick around in the Netherlands for a while before I uh, head back to Chile, but um, after over four and a half years, it's uh, back in, uh, in Europe, in the Netherlands soon, uh, which is strange too, but it's also really cool to uh, to be able to see uh, family again that I haven't seen in a long time. That little plan to Bolivia for the moment, it's out the window, um, completely new plan out of the blue, uh, that's just uh, life happening here and um, we'll see how this goes. A mantenere i braccioli abbassati e le tendine dei finestrini aperte. Da questo momento tutti i dispositivi elettronici devono essere impostati in modalità d'uso aereo. I computer portatili devono essere spenti e correttamente riposti. Vi preghiamo di selezionare ora la modalità di lettura.